Uh, so my name is Andrea Turk, and I am a director over recovery services. And my role, really, I see it in two parts. One is to bring recommendations forward to the exec team um, around uh, making recommendations for process improvements, team growth, um, what we can bring to the center to meet the community partner needs in terms of services and looking much more at a systemic level. Um, but then the second part of my job, which I think is the most important piece, is really supporting my managers uh, in ensuring that each one has the support uh, that they need from me to grow and develop in their role, as well as then having the skills to help grow and develop their staff and so that we are basically developing teams where we are providing the best services possible for our clients. I have two parts. I have the substance use services that we provide under recovery services and then our criminal justice services. So for our substance use services, we have our substance use disorder outpatient treatment team, as well as our intensive outpatient treatment team. So we are providing basic and um, traditional treatment to those folks who have a primary substance use disorder diagnosis, but they are most definitely co-occurring, so they can have both substance use and mental health diagnosis. And then we have our mobile mat team, which is a community-based uh, team where they are focused up in the mountains, uh, specifically in Gilpin and Clare Creek and some of Jefferson County in Golden, Evergreen, and Conifer. And they are essentially providing services to those folks where they might struggle a bit in terms of getting medication assisted treatment. Uh, and so we go to them versus the clients having to come to us We'll go to their community and provide resources. We will link them up with treatment and then we can also link them up directly so that they are meeting with a provider to provide the medication assisted treatment medications. Another team within recovery services is our recovery house, which is our sober living for women. And um, this is a great level of care in that it is a place for women to step down traditionally from a, a higher level of care, such as residential treatment. So they're not quite ready to go back home. They're needing a little bit more support, but they can go to the sober living home where they can get support for housing. Um, employment and then uh, reunification sometimes with their families. And then we have our newest team, which is in the process of being developed, which is our collaborative care clinic that focuses on SUD. Uh, so more to come with that, hopefully in the next year, but that is essentially a um, multidisciplinary team that will focus on those individuals who struggle with substance use and are looking for a team that isn't based necessarily on traditional treatment. They can um, have more of a walk-in model and have um, more of a multidisciplinary team that's available to them um, in a one-shop type model. And then um, finally, under SUD, we have our residential recovery team, which is our inpatient substance use team providing um, folks who are needing a higher level of care inpatient treatment, um, typically a 30 day stay, but it really is dependent on their needs. So that is the SUD piece. And then if you jump over to criminal justice, we have our criminal justice outpatient team, otherwise known as the CJ team. And that team really focuses on serving those individuals who have some type of criminal justice involvement. Uh, whether it's probation, parole, or they're just entering into the legal system, these folks who have behavioral health needs will be referred to the CJ team. Also within the CJ team, we have staff that work specifically with folks who um, have been court ordered to receive competency restoration services. And then we have a clinician that is located out at the jail providing jail-based services. And then we have staff who specifically work with the uh, Jefferson County Courts and the Problem Solving Courts around Adult Mental Health Court and Recovery Court. And then finally, we have our co-responder team um, where we partner with local law enforcement agencies, 
um, working with folks who are in crisis out in the community and who um, are calling 911 and needing some behavioral health support. The co-responders are there to provide that immediate crisis support. And then also within our co-responder team, we have um, we collaborate with local law enforcement agencies uh, with CIT, which is Crisis Intervention Team Training, which is a 40-hour training for law enforcement uh, that is focused on de-escalation out in the community to, again, help those folks who have behavioral health needs. Within our division, I mean, we are somewhat of a specialized division where we work with some specialized populations. And, um, you know, with each population, I think it it takes a special individual to really want to work with some of these folks uh, that may be a tad bit more challenging. Um, and so what I see every day is just my staff who are willing to come in and do the hard work and um, support those folks who are struggling for whatever reason. I mean, we are a recovery services division and I think what we recognize is that recovery looks different for everyone. And what I see with the staff daily is just their willingness to come in, um, do the good work, ask questions if they need help and support, and really put the client first. And I think that is what this division is about, is to provide support to those folks where they might struggle finding it elsewhere. So I think, again, we work with really hard populations. And I think um, sometimes, with that comes stereotypes, particularly around substance use or the criminal justice population. And I think what I would say is that those individuals are just like anyone else. They are struggling in the same way that all of our clients are struggling and that at the end of the day, what they really need is just somebody who is willing to take the time to listen to them, to hear what it is that they need and um, even if we may not be the right folks to solve their problems or um, be the right agency to um, perhaps make them 100% better, that we are solve, you know, working with the client to figure out what is it that you need so that we can get you where you need to go to feel better, to get better whatever that might look like for the individual. Because again, recovery looks different for everyone. And so, you know, it might not be 100% sobriety. It might be that they um, chose not to drink last night and that that's a celebration. Um, and so really it is just how do we meet the individuals where they're at and not look at their disorder, but who are they as a person um, and how do we help them become the person that they want to be at their own pace. It may not be as quickly as we want it to be, and that's okay.